Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video. Um, this time I'm gonna be doing an all drugstore video. So just using drugstore products, products that you can find at your local pharmacy, at your local Walmart, your local Target. And honestly, I'm pretty shook about how much I actually had to pay. Do not forget to hit subscribe to this video, hit the like button, um, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, then right next to the subscribe button, you can hit the little dumbbell. That way you're notified and you'll be notified when I upload a brand new video. So yeah, let's keep on doing it. So guys, I actually went ahead and I bought a brow pomade from the drugs, from Ulta. I, everything I got right here is from Ulta. And I went ahead and I bought it from Ulta. Um, it's the Revolution Brow Pomade, which looks like this. So it comes with this, which says Revolution Brow Pomade, and mine is actually in the color dark brown. So I'm just gonna be go ahead and take my regular brush, uh, brow brush I take, which is the Anastasia one, but you can use whichever one you would like to use, and start brushing my eyebrow hairs upwards. Start lining our brows. Next, we are going to be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this one is actually in the shade Medium Dark 32. Going ahead, we're actually going to be taking our same concealer, which from ColourPop. And we're going to be applying this right into our eyelids. Just taking my finger and we're just going to start tapping that in. For today's look, we're going to be doing a blue green um, glitter eye using BH Cosmetics and NYX. So the palette I'm going to be using to be starting off my uh, transition colors and everything is going to be the Galaxy Chick palette, which is called Neptune. We're going to be taking Neptune. Next up from that same palette, we are actually going to be taking the color Electra and mixing it with Comet, which is this blue right here and this nice little green right over here. It's this gray color right here. I'm going to take that and we're going to darken up our sides. Next, using the Carly Bible a palette with BH Cosmetics, we're going to be taking this brownish, greenish right here, and we're going to just use that to darken up the, ed the edges again. We're going to be grabbing our NYX Glitter Goals, which looks like this. And we're going to be grabbing this beautiful blue-green, which is this one right here, which is number nine. So we're going to take our finger. Next, what we're going to be doing is taking this nice, beautiful orange which is named Mars we're gonna apply that right in the center okay. 
next up, we're gonna be using my e.l.f. primer. And this one's the Poreless Face Primer. And we're gonna be taking just a couple squirts on our face. So one, two, three, just like that. This kind of reminds me as Poreless Primer from Benefit. Just a teensy bit. And we're gonna take that. Next up, once you let that set and you're ready for your foundation, um, I actually am going to be using two foundation colors, but they're both from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Foundation. So I'm going to be taking this um, cream beige color first, apply it with the little spatula it comes with. So just taking the booty blender. We are going to place on top another coat of the uh, desert beige, the medium to dark color just because I want to make sure I match perfect. So once I have that foundation on, we're going to go ahead and apply that same concealer, the ColourPop. Next up, we're going to be taking our Revolution uh, Translucent Powder. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I applied that. Now we're going to be contouring and what I'm going to be using is my Wet n Wild uh, contour which is this two duos and this is a mega glow um, contouring palette so we're gonna go ahead and take that contour and start contouring where we usually would contour Since we already contoured where we usually contour, now we're going to be taking the same translucent powder and we're going to put it right under the contour so that way it could be more of a cut clean contour. Next we're actually going to be taking our bronzer and the bronzer I'm going to be using is the Milani bronzer and it's one I've been using ever since I started actually trying to get into makeup and when I first started experimenting with it. So the one we're going to be using is the Sol Il, Sol Il Baked Bronzer which is the 05 from Milani and I'm just going to be taking my BH Cosmetics brush. Next we're going to be taking our NYX um, blush palette which is the Sweet Cheeks palette. We're going to be applying these two colors right here because these two colors are more of a subtle look. We don't want nothing too dramatic because we are having a really dramatic eye so we want it to keep the rest of it a little bit more neutral. And taking just a big fluffy brush we're going to go ahead and just wipe off, just dust off anything like 
our setting powder. Next, taking our Wild Wet n Wild highlighter, and this one is in the uh, shade Golden Flower Crown. We are going to go ahead and take our highlighter brush. Next up, we're going to be taking our NYX White Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. So we ended up switching it for the blue one, the NYX Blue Eyeliner. Okay, now that I went ahead and I applied that blue eyeliner, we're gonna go move on and apply our eyelashes on. So the eyelashes I'm gonna be using are not found in your local Walmart or Walgreens or anything like that, but they are still considered drugstore um, eyelashes. Um, these are the Violet Voss. They're the Fox Pink, Fox Mink lashes. Um, and you can get them on shopvioletvoss.com. These were only $6. $6 for these lashes. Um, I was in between using these and my Ardell Wispies, but I mean, these are also $6, and the Ardell ones I believe are like 4 or $5, so around the same price. Meanwhile, my eyelash glue dries. I'm gonna go, go ahead and curl my eyelashes. You can use whichever type of curler you want to use. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the telescopic um, mascara, and I believe this one's from L'Oreal. Anytime you apply eyelashes, you want to make sure the glue is very tacky because if it's not, then it's not going to go on as easy um, and it's going to take longer for it to dry, meaning it's going to be able to move. We already applied them on. I'm just wanting them to finish drying so I can fix them. I I don't know how I feel about them, but I mean, they look cute or whatever. We're going to go in with a small little brushy brush and we're going to be taking that Pluto color again. We're gonna be taking that right under our under eye. I actually also went ahead and I purchased uh, a gel, a brow gel, and this one's the one from e.l.f. It's called Wow Brow Deep Brown by e.l.f. I'm just going to be taking my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Lip E and this one's the Give Me Mocha color and I'm legit just going to apply the least amount I can on my lips. I'm just going to take it on my finger, nothing else, just like that. I'm going to clean it off. Whenever I kind of don't want to give the impression that I'm wearing any lipstick, this is what I do. I apply a couple drops and then I take my clean fingers like this and they're kind of, I just have to clean it while being on my lips because if I clean it and go like this, then uh, of course, sorry. So of course, if I go like this, of course my lips going to look like some parts are paint, some aren't. So that's why we're just taking the finger and just kind of rubbing it all over. We have some color on our lips, but we're making it seem like we kind of don't. So then just taking that same highlighter brush, we're gonna go over our Cupid's bow. Just to kind of fill it in. Okay, in the middle of the video, which is right now, I found out I was out of my Mario Badescu setting spray, so we're gonna have to use our Morphe one, okay?
Okay, so, so this is the final result. Um, I actually am so amazed. I can't even speak right because of how amazed I am that I was actually able to do it. I'm going to be very honest. At very first, at the very beginning of this video, I was like, shit, like, oops. At the very beginning of this video, I was like, dang, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this just because I felt like my foundation was not going on right because I felt like I put way too much of the um, primer and it was making my face feel a little too oily for me, but it turned out so beautiful. And at first I was like, oh no, my eyeshadow, I don't know if it's gonna work out. But man, I'm, I'm so fucking shook, man. Freaking shook. Anyways, this turned out so beautiful. I know I'm trying, I'm not trying not to be too cocky, but it looks stunning, sister. Stunning. I can't stop staring at my shawl. You're very pretty. <sighs> okay, I'll stop being cocky now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you actually liked how this turned out, and if you want me to do more looks like this, or more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the like button, because that's how I know that you like the videos. Also, subscribe down to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification button, so that way you're notified next time. the next time I upload a brand new video. Don't forget to share the video. It's me having a heart attack. <laughs> because I want you to share the video. Okay, anyways, I know I look pretty stupid doing that. Whatever. Anyways, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, do everything I just said, share with your friends, your grandma, whoever. Anyways. <coughs> <coughs>